Art is meant to move you and make you pause for a moment to think and contemplate life. The beautiful blue pigments in the skyline and passionate pink hues that dance between the branches in conversation with one another are what caught my attention in Cornelia Packard's latest landscape painting. Cornelia Packard is an innovative artist and teacher who has exhibited and taught internationally with a background in printmaking and installation art. Her landscape and figurative works are noted for the bold use of color and energetic mark making. Cornelia is very passionate about engaging the Hamilton community through the arts. And as a teacher, I use the gallery quite extensively with my students, which, um, which I love doing and the kids love doing and they're getting used to it and they're really, they're, they know when a new exhibition comes up, we're going to do artwork based on that exhibition. And that's things I learned at the Warhol Museum and the mm -hmm. Carnegie Museums, uh, how to utilize uh, other artists' work to inspire. And um, so I find myself also doing that in my arts practice where I, I do performative work that's engaging the community where they don't expect it. One of the ways Cornelia engages the community is through installation art, where the viewers become participants and a part of the art process, performance and experience. I really enjoy installation work and I really enjoy the irony in the, and I play with that and so I do performance work and I think that's all built on that foundation of being at a school where I was able to like installation art mm -hmm. requires such a broad kind of resource base. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to kind of be a jack of all trades to do that. And so it keeps coming out like this piece behind us. It was part of an installation of 16 canvases that people were guided into down a long corridor and then surrounded by mm -hmm. these people who looked at them and they were the work of art rather than the art being the thing you were looking at. They were looking at you. So I like to change the perspective and I think that came from that conceptual background. During this process, Cornelia chooses a scene where she can sit and look at something beautiful for a few hours to get the essence of what it feels like to be there, captured through watercolor paint and watercolor pencils. This approach has become a process of meditation that has helped Cornelia evolve as an artist. I kept working at it. I, I was taught a lesson that I need to... Somebody, I asked, well, how did you get to this point? And they were my age and I was younger and they said, just keep plugging away at it. And so with that determination, I never kind of let myself down. I had to move a lot and that's not great for an artist. You want to build a community, but I persevered and I just kept working on it and know I can do it. I don't feel self-conscious and I'm starting now finally to be able to paint over things I don't like mm -hmm. that I've done in the past, which is sort of letting that go because I know I'm going to make new yeah. and that doesn't scare me anymore. I don't go, oh no, a white paper or <laughs> something. That's always like a breakthrough in an artist practice. Yeah, yeah, I did that early on. I was about 30 when I had that moment, but now after really being settled here in Hamilton, I really feel like I can carry it through and, uh, and just keep being lucky enough to be an artist in this city and being able to work with color all the time. For Hamilton Life, I am Carly McCaskill.